Hi Taurus, let's see what messages will show up for you. Let's actually get this deck first. How are you doing Taurus? Taurus season is coming up. Um, when's your birthday? What are your plans or what is a goal of yours? Do let me know. Taurus, in case this reading resonates with you, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how's your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit, and your future love. So do check it out. It'll be linked below. I'm also going to be giving you bonus messages in your extended, okay? So you have action and purification and bottom of the deck, we have openness. So staying receptive to things that are coming in your life. Some of you um, are really achieving something or trying to achieve something with the purification energy. It's almost like something has changed. OK, I also feel like your emotions, you know, there's something here about your emotions. Uh, things that are coming to the surface for you. You may be feeling very emotional these days. There's a lot of Scorpio energy here. I'm also getting that there's something here about <clears throat> your day-to-day -day routine. Something has changed or a lot of you might have incorporated something new in your day-to-day -day routine. Um, but there, this is really about self-expression, okay? And a lot of you maybe are not hesitating to express yourself. This is nice. And I feel like there has been a change in your personality lately. This is giving me Leo vibes or Scorpio vibes. Some of you may have Leo or Leo or Scorpio in your chart. OK. OK, show me what's there for Taurus, please. Show me what's there for Taurus, please. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Oopsie, and Venus signs. It's like you're keeping it together. <laughs> you're keeping it together. Show me Taurus, please. Okay. We have joy, having fun. Um, okay. In creation release insecurity isolation a lot of you have been very closed off in the past but spirit is telling you to release things release certain insecurities within you and i, I mean that is the hardest thing to hear but a lot of you i feel like you're manifesting good stuff in your life but spirit is definitely telling you that there's something holding you back okay sometimes it is our own self-sabotage when we are not really believing what we can do or what we can um, achieve. Okay. I'm also getting that, um, Taurus, there's something here about your ancestors, okay? They are with you. A lot of you need to heal your past trauma as well. Something that you went through maybe you when you were a kid or something that you went through later on. I don't know, but there's something that needs to heal here. People are talking about you. I feel like these days you're very much connected to the spirit, okay? Very much connected to the divine. With the gossip energy, people are talking about you. Uh, you could care less. <laughs> You're trying to keep things balanced. And I feel like a lot of you could be aware that there are people who are spreading news or gossip about you. I feel like at some point it has gotten to you because we do have that insecurity card. But I feel like a lot of you have kind of like learned to navigate your way through it. Um, you're just not getting involved in this petty stuff. But yeah, it's either that it has already happened or people could try to bring you down in the future. Okay, 
there's a lot of scorpionic energy that I'm getting here. So you could be in that element or you literally maybe have Scorpio in your chart. Something about... <clears throat> Let me know what is your sun, moon, and rising because whatever is your sun sign, if you're watching for a Taurus rising, let me know. And if your sun is in Taurus, let me know what is your rising sign or moon sign. There's something here about sun sign or that could just be Leo's energy. I don't know. The planet sun is also associate, associated with, of course, self-expression, happiness, joy, things coming to light. Okay, it's our life force. Some of you are also very close with your father or were close with your father. I don't know. Uh, Nine of Cups, happiness, what a perfect card. I could already tell that you're going to be in this energy. Um, happiness, you know, wanting to be happy by yourself. It's like you've figured out a way in between. Chariot, very determined to move forward, achieve things. Um, magician to the Eight of Cups, walking away from what doesn't serve you, okay? You've been very protective of your energy, but I feel like in the past, you definitely have had your time period where you were maybe overthinking things, okay? But right now, there is a lot of determination to move forward. You're getting things done. You're making it happen and things like that. <laughs> so let's see. What do we have for Taurus, please? Show me to oopsie. All right, so we have the Four of Wands. Wow. So even starting off the reading, Taurus, look at your energy, like such beautiful energies. Four of Wands, Chariot, Nine of Cups, happiness, you know, peace. Uh, some of you could be staying at home or you could be decorating your home. Like you're finding happiness in little things. Healing yourself with the Four of Swords energy and the Two of Cups. Ooh, love comes in. Love is coming in. I'm kind of feeling like this is also you connecting to your higher self. This is this could be about, you know, your spiritual ascension. But we will clarify, of course. But for some reason, this is about you as well with the Two of Cups. Mm, okay. Show me what the Two of Cups is. Four of Cups. Uh, <laughs> and the Six of Swords. You are avoiding somebody. I feel like there's a certain love situation that has taught you self-love and it has taught you to put that focus back onto yourself. And I'm really seeing that you're letting go of somebody. There's a lot of emotional discontent surrounding a love situation that maybe you once were a part of. You may still feel attached to the situation or the person, but with the Six of Swords, you feel like you've already made a decision to walk away from this. You could be walking away from this to pursue something else, okay? <clears throat> a lot of you are trying to move towards something new in your life from what I can see. So this is a love situation that you're avoiding, especially with the four of swords right next to it. <clears throat> Show me Taurus, please. Taurus, you're very determined to achieve something. Like I keep getting that. This is something maybe work-related and there's something changing in your life. Again, you have the moon and the death card with the six of cups. You're healing from a soulmate twin flame connection or it's it just looks like you're healing from the past, period. Okay, you're kind of like recognizing certain emotions and there's, again, you know, you're, you're aware of something. Okay. You're aware of something, especially with the death card being here. This is about a change. For some of you, there could literally be something drastically changing in your life or it is about to, okay? I see you taking action towards something, being passionate towards it. It's like I'm not going to stop for nobody. You're also strategizing to achieve this. 
I like it. I love this energy. It's like you are strategizing to move towards something new. You're passionate about it. You're going after it. You're healing yourself. It doesn't look like, Taurus, there is time for you to go back in the past and explore that. Even though you may not hate the person, uh, you may still feel for them. But, oh boy, you're not willing to go back there. That could be a love situation, a family situation. I don't know, maybe even a work scenario. Okay. Show me what's happening for Taurus. <clears throat> I feel like you're wanting to manifest a kind of love where you're cherished, adored. But for now, you're keeping your feelings to yourself. Okay, you would like to manifest love, but for now, the feelings are being kept to yourself. You're manifesting something new as well, especially with that creation card there. I could already tell that, you know, you're manifesting something. Let's see, what's, the, what's their person's energy? Show me their person's energy. For some of you, maybe things ended with this person due to a third party. They very much still think about you, but this is a person who you feel like is very confused. They can be also very stubborn. Okay, what's the Ten of Swords? Ten of Cups. Okay. Is this person married or what already has a family? Because I feel like uh, communicating with this person, you're thinking twice whether you want to actually be a part of this or not, you know? A lot has changed between you and this person. They want, they wonder about you, but it's like this person, yeah, with the Nine of Swords energy, this person thinks a lot about you, whoever this is, okay? But they're also seeing what happened between you two. And manifesting a new start seems difficult. Um, your outcome, nonetheless, from the reading is the Star card, the Two of Pentacles, and the Strength. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck is the Sun card and the Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups. So you've had some form of like with the Four of Cups, emotional discontent stemming from the pause. But Ace of Cups and the Sun, you know, there's a new beginning in love. There's a new start. And I feel like it's not just love. It's like generally in your life, there's a lot that's going <clears> to... <throat> that's going to make you very happy okay that's going to fulfill you um on an emotional level very nice if you remember i was talking about the sun card a lot okay uh look at this there's also something about sunflowers look at that we, we have it here okay uh leo energy is very evident pisces cancer scorpio libra aquarius uh sagittarius okay now, in your outcome, you have the strong, the, the sun and the, sorry, this, oh my God, I'm stuck on the sun. The star, the two of pentacles and the strength card. You're healing. For some of you, if your business is online or I don't know, like I see you shining. I see you doing good. I see that there are also people who are watching you grow, but you're busy in your craft. Okay. Um, and you're holding back. I feel like you're very, like, you're kind of, like, very um, cautious of where you're spending time. And how much you're spending time on that. Okay. I want more with you one day. There's somebody who's wanting more with you one day, okay? Sword and the rose and the palm tree. Mm. Stability, security, permanence, growth, clarity, truth, revelation. <clears throat> A love call 
they know they made a mistake. You're the only one who has gotten the card of the love call. For you, it's about clarity, okay? Otherwise, you don't want to be a part of a situation that you feel like it's just like somebody's lying to you. There's a person who's realizing their mistake and they're going to call you or text you, but of course, the response is up to you. Let's get some cards for your person. And I will clarify these in your extended, okay? Show me their person. Show me their person, please. Show me the person Taurus is connecting with. All right. Um, give me a guided message for Taurus, please. <clears throat> Give me a guided message for Taurus. I shuffle. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So some of you may be feeling like you failed at something or you... I don't know, like... You may be beating yourself up for something that you feel like you could have done. Empathy, I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. Empathy starts with you. You're being hard on yourself over something, maybe. So that's it, uh, Taurus. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the reading about your person, which will be linked in the description box as well as bonus messages if you're interested. Take care and bye-bye.